If you've just gotten into astrophotography or astronomy, you've probably seen this. Or maybe this, or how about this? And you're thinking to yourself, what do these mean? They help us catalog objects in space. More specifically, that M stands for Messier, as in Charles Messier, and he was a French astronomer in the 18th century. Like many of his counterparts, he loved comets. He actually identified 13 of them. And to keep him from being confused, he kept track of all the objects he saw that were not comets. What you have to remember is that this is a time when visual observation was the only way to discern a structure of an object. They didn't have the fancy technologies that we have today to help us image and understand these deep sky objects. So as he went hunting for comets over time, he added more and more of these objects to his list. This list is what we know today as the Messier catalog. The list went through several iterations during and after Messier's lifetime and was even updated as late as the 1960s based on some of Messier's observational notes. There are 110 objects total, including 40 galaxies, 12 nebulae, 29 globular clusters, 26 open clusters, and three others. This diversity of objects makes it a great place to get your feet wet into all things astro. To be able to see all 110 objects, you could technically go about as low as 20 degrees south up to about 55 degrees north, but that's assuming that you've got a clear, unobstructed view around the horizon. Really your best bet is to see these from the low to mid northern latitudes. And many of these objects you can see with just your naked eye. Also, searching just the M number often brings back this instead of this. So use this format when searching online. Now if you're feeling really ambitious, you can actually attempt to observe or even image all 110 objects in just one night. We call that the Messier Marathon, and it looks something like this. The time window for completing the marathon is mid-March to early April. Now let me be super clear, I've not actually attempted the Messier Marathon, maybe someday, but that collage was actually created by a good friend of mine, Jonathan Ward, who did complete the Messier Marathon. And next week, he's gonna share five tips on how you can complete your own Messier Marathon. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching.